Where did you come from? I don't believe it. We know a girl who looks just like you. Hmm? I don't understand what you're talking about. Who are you? And figures. No, I think this really is. Sophie died seven years ago. Face reality. Stop seeing things how you wish they were. Sharia. So what happened? How did this girl die? Well... That's... She died protecting us. She sacrificed herself because we were important to her. Because we were friends. Hmm. What is up guys? Twiggy here and we are back with another Let's Play Tales of Sith. Tales of Graces. Now I did say I was going to go back and do get the change my Elith mixer but I completely forgot about that because I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 and now that we got this to level 5 I'm going to go ahead and go in here and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to change her costume and then, to be honest I actually like this costume a lot better than her defaults and a bunch of her other costumes so I'm going to give her that costume and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to give her these. There. I always fit my Sharia with the, the cutie campus title and, lo and with the cat ear and the cat tail. Now for Sophie is a difference. Let me see if I can. Let's see. Let's go ahead and we're going to... Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna give her this title. Each, no, that's not what I want. Let's see, I believe it's... I'm trying to find the title, but I can barely even remember. Flower Girl, that's not it. Let's see, Critical Blade. Toast of the Town, here we go. That's the one I wanted. And I didn't really mean to do that. I think that's all of them. Okay, these guys are killing way too fast, so I can't even show off Sharia. I was gonna show off Sharia. I think I showed her off in the last episode, so I think we don't need to use her anymore. And we're gonna go back to I don't anticipate that well. Okay. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. And I did not mean to run into a bunch of random fights right there. It's because they got in my way. I would just say they got in my way. Yep. And last, so in the last episode, we were in... In Lantia, we fight that big giant machine that the Fendelians have. But we are not saved out of the woods yet. The Fen Fendelians are still attacking. So we're gonna go ahead back into Lantz and... Cutscene! Did everyone make it to safety? Yes. We're all alive thanks to you. However, many people were wounded. D daddy My daddy is hurt. Don't worry. I'll help your daddy get better, okay? Where are the injured? In the town square. I'm going to go see if I can help. Sharia has been a comfort to us all. She can heal people with a touch. It's almost like she's Launce's guardian angel. What happened to Fendel's army? They've pulled back, but they're still within Launce's borders. They've constructed an encampment just in front of the border fortress. Unless we destroy that encampment, we'll never be able to drive them out. Do we have any intelligence on it? Yes, I submitted a full report to Lord... to your father. Good. I'll check it out when I return home. One more thing. Frederick and Lady Carey are waiting for you at the manor. I understand. I'll go to them right away.
seven years. This is quite the homecoming. Aspel? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's go home. Okay, so we arrived back in lots. A lot of people are injured because of the Vendelians. The Vendelians fell back, but the camp is still nearby lots, so we're gonna be in trouble if we don't do anything about it. Asbel! Hi, Mom. I'm home. Oh, I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're back. After what happened to your father, I've been so very worried. I'm sorry I wasn't here. And I'm glad you're all right, Frederick. I owe you a debt I can never repay, Lord Asbel. Did I miss the funeral? Yes, I'm sorry. We simply couldn't wait for your return. Your father fought bravely and died defending his home. I pray that is of some comfort to you. I understand. Thank you for being there during his final hour. You are too kind. Asbo, please. Please don't leave us again. You must stay and rule in your father's place. We have nowhere else to turn. That... That's why you've come back. Right? I came back to see if you needed anything. And assess Lon's current condition. Asbel, you can't mean to return to Barona. Not after all that's happened. I know what you're trying to say. But I... I need some time. I need time to think. We left your room just as it was. Please feel free to use it as you like. Thank you, Frederick. Sophie, I'm going to check out my old room. Wanna come? Asbel. I'm sorry, Mom. So we're back in lunch and we're gonna head back to our room. But before we head back to our room, I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to her and we're gonna go and we're gonna turn this in. And we got 150 skill points and we're gonna turn this one in as well. Now, I didn't really get many comments about this, about parts where the where the text boxes come out, but no, they they don't, but there aren't any voice acting. So I'm wondering if you guys want me to, still wondering if you guys want me to talk, just comment, just you do a regular commentary over it, or just read the text box, text boxes because I haven't really gotten much replies about these yet. So. I'm really hoping you guys can uh, reply. Well, not reply, but like leave a comment telling me what you guys, what you want me to do because I didn't get really get that many comments about this. So I'm just gonna do um, for right now. I'm just gonna do regular commentaries until someone puts a comment saying about about uh, if they want to talk. If we want to talk me ah if they want me to talk over this or they want me to go ahead and read what they're talking about. So that's it for that and we're gonna head up here. Dad, we never had a chance to understand each other. If I'd only known how bad things were here. If only I'd accepted my role as your heir. Then none of this would have happened. What am I meant to do? I've spent seven years training for knighthood, and now I'm nearly there. I wanted to be strong so I could protect people, but I couldn't protect anyone, could I? Not even my own father. And then he died protecting his own people. Protect. Protect. Everyone. You know, it's because of you that I wanted to be strong in the first place. 
Me? I mean, sorry. I guess I think of you as Sophie, you know? This is so weird. It's like I've gone back in time. But I think I know my answer. I think I've always known it. From the very beginning. Thanks. I think you helped me figure some things out. I'm pretty sure you guys already know the fact that Sophie is not a is not human. And I believe we got her, yep. We're gonna get her go ahead and give her this title. And we're gonna go back to our room, which is right here. Man, it's been a while since I've been in here. Was it always this small? I brought you some tea, Lord Asbel. Perfect timing, Frederick. Would you please mail this letter for me? W my lord! This is a letter of withdrawal from the Knight Academy! I will become the next Lord of Launt. It is my duty as Aston Launt's firstborn son. I shall inform Lady Carey immediately. She will be overjoyed. Sure. Oh, one more thing. I've heard about a report outlining the Fendolian army's encampment. It's waiting in the study, my lord. Shall I escort you there? That would be perfect. But before we war, we get head out to the... Uh, before we head out to the study, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check this his desk out, or not? I thought there would be there was supposed to be something here, but I guess not. Maybe it, maybe I think it comes out later in the game. So never mind then. I thought there was supposed to be something there. Okay, my bad, guys. Uh, there there was supposed to be. Um, papers on his desk but that didn't work out so let's go ahead over here into the study it feels weird sitting here this is where dad did most of his paperwork Frederick do you know if this report is still accurate it claims we can pass through the seaside cavern beyond Lawn Hill and emerge near the enemy encampment if that's true we could use the cavern to stage a surprise attack. Pardon me, Lord Asbel? You look at home here. Does this mean our land finally has a new lord? It does. I know I'm young, but I'll do my best. I hope you'll help me, Bailey. I am yours to command, my lord. Have you heard from the Royal Knights? Will they ride to our aid? Unfortunately, it doesn't sound good. I fear we fight this battle alone. I see. As such, I'm considering how to deal with Fendel. What are you planning? We should strike. It's time we went on the offensive. We can use the Seaside Cavern to stage a night attack on their main camp. Interesting. Yes, the cavern should allow us to approach the enemy undetected. We'll split into small units and regroup near the exit. Then, when night falls, I will lead the attack. Ready the men. I want to be there tonight. So soon? The enemy is still recovering from today's battle. The timing is perfect. For the sake of Launt, we must not fail. We shall begin preparations at once. I want to be a part of this fight, Asbel. I want to help drive Fendel from my home. Sharia, I... I want to go too. 
Thank you. Thank you both. We'll leave as soon as preparations are complete. I want to make sure we reach the cavern before nightfall. I'll be ready. For some reason, something doesn't feel right about that plan. True, you, you can strike at night, but some, there's something about that plan that doesn't fit. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to head to Lant Road. Well, not, yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're not going to head to Lant Road and we're going to head to the Seaside Cavern. Which isn't too far, I believe. And we're nearing the time limit here, so... I might just go ahead and end it off by when we get to the Seaside Cavern. Because we're on, there's about four, three minutes. Yeah, there's about f less than four minutes left on this. On the time limit, so we're well, gonna pretty much end it off quick. Sophie, don't wander too far. All right. Why do you call her that? Uh, I don't know. She needs a name, right? Even though we have no idea who she really is? Look, I'm just... You need to come back to reality. Everything has changed since... since then. You're right. It has changed. Sophie's dead. My father's dead. Hubert got adopted by some guy in Strata. Oh, and my oldest friend treats me like a total stranger, and has apparently given up on smiling. <gasps> Look, I know this is all my fault, okay? That's why I decided to stay. What do you call this flower? It's a Sophia. That's where we got the name Sophie. Sophie. Asbel calls me Sophie. Sorry, I should have asked you first. No, it's fine. Please call me Sophie. I like this flower. It feels warm and familiar. It makes me happy to be named after it. If you like it, why don't you grow another one? Here, take this. It's a Sophia seed. This will turn into a Sophia flower? When we get back to the manor, you can plant it in the flower bed. All right. So the Seaside Cavern is right down here and we're already running into the time limit here so I'm gonna head and save it out here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like. It really does help on my channel. I know I'm ending this off pretty really pretty early but um, yeah so uh, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like. It really does help on my channel if you got it. So. Leave a comment telling me if you want what, what you guys think and if, what, if I should continue talking over the, the the parts where they the text appears but then the, the uh, but the voice doesn't come out. If you guys want me to read the text or just commentate over it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Team!